So what is up everyone? Welcome back. It is a new year and as it goes with new years, the question always is what big plans do you have for this new year? And there have been quite a few comments asking me questions like, are you planning to do Proko's anatomy course anytime soon? And I have thought about this quite a bit, um, but I have decided I am not going to do the Proko anatomy course just yet. And there is a reason why I'm deciding not to do that. It is because I have something that I need to do first before I do Proko's anatomy class. And my recommendation is that you should do this first too, okay? So before you jump into uh, an advanced anatomy class, here is something you should you should take in consideration and get this completed out of the way before you do that. But in this video, I'm going to answer that question first and then I'm going to be jumping into my, uh, my sketchbook here that I am um, about halfway through and talk through what I've been doing and what I plan to be doing this year to improve my drawing skills. All right, so first up, what do you need to be doing before you jump into an advanced anatomy class? And this is something I knew and started, but it came up also in this very same book that I got for Christmas, uh, which is a super cool book and has really been inspiring me to draw even more than before. This is Anatomy for Ad Artist Drawing Form and Pose um, by Tom Fox Draws, right? And what he points out in this book, if I can't find a page, is right here. This is where he's talking about the mannequin box versus the more organic mannequin and putting on a lot of detail. And it's getting kind of hard to rotate me in space, right? And what you begin to find out, when you go into Proko's course, there are a whole lot of complicated details that you need to draw. If you haven't become super comfortable with drawing just simple box forms in perspective, rotate them, line them up. You are going to struggle in that class. And I know this because doing the simple mannequin was something I actually struggled with in the figure drawing course. And draw boxes helped quite a bit on this, but now that I've been paying more attention and more focus on this skill itself it's been getting easier and easier quicker and quicker you'll see that as i jump into my sketchbook but yeah if if you're having a difficult time just creating this very basic mannequin structure uh, you're probably not ready to jump into a full anatomy course as yet and again this is going to be up to you people are different but I've found jumping into uh, this book, which is uh, kind of still a basic um, anatomy, not going into all the detail. I mean, it's still pretty detailed as it gets into different sections, but it gives you a stepping stone approach where, where you, can, you can take it step by step. But I have really been enjoying going through this book, drawing through it, and let's jump into the sketchbook see what I've been doing and talk about what I plan to do this year to take my drawing to the next level. Okay, so this is my brand new sketchbook, completed one already, and I am halfway through this one already. Um, I normally see people do something on the first page. This was a sketch I kind of pulled out on the first page. You can see some of the blocking lines. And the only thing I did not like about the sketchbook was the first page is really kind of glued strange and it made it very difficult to open up this first page. So I, I ended up skipping this first page 
I know, it's kind of tough. This is the Moleskin sketchbook, by the way. If someone was trying to figure out which sketchbook this is. Uh, the paper's really cool. So this is where it started out. I did some ink drawings over here, pencil underneath um, with the lay-in, and did ink on top. Really like how those turned out, actually. Really like how here turned out on that one. Um, but through the sketchbook, one of the things I've been focusing on is drawing figures. In the last video, I think, we talked about this process that I have of drawing, making sure that I draw figures that interact, and we're doing quite a bit of that here as well. But again, really trying to hone in on figures with some more perspective work. So figures, perspective work, those are going to be overlapping again and again, and drawing an anatomy and construction, of course, as those are the main things that I'm focusing on here. A lot of gesture studies. Here's, if you saw my last sketchbook, you would see something similar like this. I came back, did another one of these, made some notes on some things I need to improve, like clear shapes, um, close. This is one of the things I keep on coming back to, remembering that close things need to be big and things that are far away need to be small. Such a simple concept, but you'd be surprised how, how many times you get that messed up. Just a few layouts, doing some heads, hands, and this one was a little bit from reference, then I threw in some feet and stuff. Uh, these ones were from imagination. Uh, these two down here as reference, I really like how those turned out. More construction studies, the face, the torso. This was, uh, these studies were from another, I have, I have quite a few figure drawing books that I'm using. So these are not from the one I just showed. I will I will let you know when I actually get to that book and start drawing from that. This one I did from Imagination, a reference, a reference one. Another one of my micro studies, trying to put uh, figures in a scene and have them interact in some way. You're going to see a lot of pencil work in here, as as I've kind of slipped out of, okay, I really like inks, and I know I want to get to inks, but for right now, I don't want to get distracted. I know I just need to update and up and get better at the drawing itself. So um, I've kind of stopped the inks for a bit and just been doing pencils just because it's so convenient. And if you notice here, I am not really erasing too much either, so that's not an issue for jumping into ink. So maybe I, maybe I should just be using inks, but whatever, I've been using pencils, they're convenient. And I don't have the fair factor, so it's, it's good. I, I may start jumping into inks as I've been getting more and more confident in these. Doing more micro projects here, putting objects, people into scenes, the <laughs> random weird layouts. Uh, I don't know what's going on with <laughs> that person up there, but fairly large. All right, getting into more studies uh, from anatomy books that again, do anatomy at a much more basic level than some of the things on Proko. Now, I know that Proko has some basic videos on there as well, um, but not ready to pay for the course just yet until I can take advantage of, of everything that's there. And the resources in the books that I use, they are pretty good as well, so I'm learning a lot from those. A few more gesture studies. I, I almost thought of doing a uh, kind of video tutorial slash walkthrough just kind of like a live draw of, of how I do these figures I don't know if anyone would be interested in that but I'm trying to I'm trying to keep at least for this year the videos as focused on just being as simple as possible trying to get as much drawing in as possible and not trying to spend too much time on the videos 
And so this year you're probably going to see a lot more sketchbooks, sketchbook tours as and this type of video that I'm doing now because I'm just going to really focus in this here on drawing more and and just hyper focusing in on the, on the drawing itself which has been so far super fun super exciting for me especially with that new book that I just got so yeah these were uh, this one was from reference some of these from imagination just uh, coming up with some ideas and, and trying out different things testing my knowledge of some anatomy stuff there again more of these uh, kind of micro projects that I talk about all the time in my videos trying to put together random scenes and more referenced figure drawings again I really I really like doing these they, they turn out pretty cool also using this opportunity to start in small ways getting into folds and, and clothing and stuff like that small work being done these ones from imagination some perspective work making some notes for shortening uh, for for shortening one of my main challenges is actually shortening it's, it's this that you just have this tem temptation to uh, still make things as long as they were before uh, here's a ink over pencils and a few more uh, brief anatomy studies here some gestures and some of these are from imagination and then I st at this point I started really drawing a whole lot more and me and the family watching some past episodes of Survivor and taking kind of screenshots of some of them taking some ideas from some of the movements that I see people doing and kind of drawing gestures off of them so that was really fun to do while watching that again just being hyper focused this time around about just drawing more, getting more drawing in. All of these, I construct them out and, and then um, kind of go over them. And it's becoming easier and easier to do some layouts like this. It's kind of fun. A lot of these so from Survivor. Uh, this is the beginning of the drawing that I started doing from the book that I just pointed out, Anatomy for Artists, Drawing Form and, and Pose. And so now you're going to just see the amount of drawing that I do from that book. Let's go bananas as I kind of got into that. And I just absolutely love that book so far. Uh, this was an interesting kind of mashup that was in that book. And I kind of copied it out. You can see my underlying construction scribbles using little uh, blobs. Uh, draw box would call them sausage forms to kind of map it out and then came over with a pencil and just you just go with the line so not paying too much attention to being hyper accurate just kind of getting the feel of it in there and it turns out really cool I actually I really like how um, these lines look actually. and I think that's one of the things that's been really inspiring in that book um, really like how uh, the author talks about how to construct your figures, overlaps, making sure that, that you know which form is in front, which one is in back. It's really been doing wonders for me. I like those, I like that feet, that foot. <laughs> oh man. So here's a lot of drawings from that this one was all mine I tried to put some of the stuff I've learned into practice it's really cool I, some of the figures in that book are really cool I threw this one in here from imagination it's kind of grabbing the feet um, this one was also from imagination it was kind of a variation on this pose over here and kind of figured I, you know, I should have done something different with that leg there but Turned out not too bad. Again, a lot more drawing <laughs> from that book. From that book and inspired by that book, uh, both of them. They have some really cool techniques in there to put things together. 
more drawing, coming up with gestures based on the construction, really homing in on the gesture during the construction phase, like what's going on here? Sometimes I find myself getting carried away and I'm just like, okay, calm down, what are you doing? Start over. Here I start jumping in a lot, a lot into the simple form mannequins and you're gonna see quite a bit of that and as I went through this I started to get more and more comfortable with drawing uh, these mannequins. Really like that figure there. Trying a few hands in different positions. Getting in more mannequins, which are always really cool and really becoming comfortable with the process of setting these up. And then uh, the same thing happens here and then kind of place the figure over it. This is taken from a reference though in the book. And then I, I try to copy it on construction and then copy some of the lines. This is the last sketch page of the sketchbook here, doing more mannequins, They're up on foreshortening and trying, trying to do some cool things there actually this is not the last page but yeah you see see I'm getting getting into a lot of these box mannequins and and learning how to put them in position here we have a few more with foreshortening um, this was from imagination and then um, some figure gesture studies these are actually from Kim Jong Ji um, all of the rest of these so yeah, I've been I've been really inspired to decide that this year it's just going to be hashtag draw more <laughs> and really just push myself as I as I try to level up my drawing skills this year. So again, this year you're going to be seeing a lot more reviews of sketchbook, answering questions at the beginning, and then diving into the sketchbook to show what I've been doing. Um, so I hope to have you along on the journey, but right now, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, but I am going to head off to start drawing some more. So I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.